Jennifer Lopez, 48, can barely muster a smile as she goes on yet another date with a rod. Jennifer Lopez looked sleepy when she went out with Alex Rodriguez on Wednesday. The 48-year-old songbird kept her head down as she held on to the former Yankees baseball player's hand when they walked into a high-rise building in Midtown Manhattan. The shades of blue actress wore head-to-toe beige as she layered on clothes for the autumn chill while barely cracking a smile. The cover girl was also seen checking her cell phone. Lopez may look distracted because she has so much going on. The beauty has been filming second act with Leah Rimini, Vanessa Hudgens, and Milo Ventimiglia all over the New Year area. The drama about an ambitious Costco-style employee who heads to Wall Street comes out in 2018. And then there is her new song Amaramarama. It drops Friday along with the music video that she teased on Wednesday. She is seen in a subway station wearing a blue as a dancer does his thing. The mood is very dark almost making the subway station look like a nightclub. Jennifer and Alex have been inseparable for months. This week alone they have been several times. On Tuesday they had breakfast in New York City. The night before, the actress lit up the Prostate Cancer Foundation fundraiser dinner. Together the lovebirds delighted the room when they announced they were donating $1 meter to the cause along with the other members at their table. Earlier this month their Vanity Fair cover was released, the two post side by side, highlighting their ish life. Lopez relayed a story about their first date at the Hotel Bel Air. After he learned she was single, the slugger went to the bathroom to collect his thoughts then told the pop star, you look sexy if... At first the date was uneasy. He was sitting there in his white shirt, very confident and manly, but then he was just so talkative. She said. I think he thought I was going to be this loud person, but I'm not. I just listen. So he's talking, talking about his plans, about how he had just retired from baseball, about how he saw himself getting married again, all these things you wouldn't normally talk about on a first date. I don't know if he thought it was a date. I thought it was a date. Then I knew he was nervous because he asked me if I wanted a drink. I said, no, I don't drink, and he asked if I minded if he had won. He was nervous and it was really cute. Alex said, I didn't know if it was a date. Maybe we were seeing each other at night because of her work schedule. I went in uneasy, not knowing her situation. He continued, it would be incredibly productive for me to sit with one of the smartest, greatest women in the world, especially for a guy like me who is coming through tough times, rehabbing himself, re-establishing himself to folks out there. I thought it would be a win-win, no matter what. But then she told him, around the third or fourth inning that she was single. I had to get up and go readjust my thoughts. I went to the bathroom and got enough courage to send her a text. So I'm sitting there and he's walking back, and I get a text, Lopez continued. It says, She looks at a rod. You can tell her. He said. You look sexy if, Chla said the text read. She added, and then it took a turn. The fire alarm went off and we had to evacuate. No, really? The fire alarm went off. The couple has seemed inseparable since that first date, often hanging out with their kids in the Hamptons or jet-setting to Europe, LA, Miami. A source for Use Weekly has said they might be getting engaged soon, but so far there is no rock on her finger. She has two kids with Mark Antony, 49, twins Max and M, aged 9. And he has daughters Natasha, aged 12, and Ella, aged 9, with ex-wife Cynthia Curtis, 44.